Hey guys, this is Fiend Rain 91, and I'm talking about Epic Games. Why? Because you know how Epic Games have been kind of just swooping in and taking developers left, right, and center? And people have obviously been mad because they want to be able to play all their PC games on basically just Steam. But here's the thing. Yes, Steam takes 30% of the cut until you make 10 million, then they switch it to 25% and then 20% after 50 million, but that's apparently the standard. Because game stores and like most other even digital platforms, it seems like, they take 30% of what the game sells. So what that means is that the developers and the producers behind the game, when they put it on the platform, they're gonna get about 70%, while the actual digital platform, or whatever platform it is, even with regular game stores, they get 30%. So while these other digital platforms and regular platforms are offering 30%. Epic Games offers a very low 12%. Could you imagine that? Imagine you're not even just a developer. Just imagine you're a business person and you see that. Next to all the other people that are offering 30%, they're offering 12, which means that you get to keep about 88% of the profits. So I can understand and I can't blame developers why they go to Epic Game stores for exclusivity because when Epic Game Store says, hey, we're going to only take 12% of your profits. That makes sense. I mean, that's just math that almost anyone can do. So while I can understand people don't like when games that they want to be on Steam go straight to, to the Epic Game Store exclusively, I cannot say that the developers are at any fault for putting their games on, on a digital platform that offers them so much profit from the game sales. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. May God bless you all.